and we're back for another episode. In this episode we're going to be carrying on our gathering leveling guide for levels 53 to 54. And as, all, as always, hello from Mifri. So um, as we've been doing in the previous episodes, every day we're doing the mining and botany collectibles. And I've just come back from the botany collectibles with more old world figs. So let's turn those in now. Same as before. Turning in. So every 12 years you now as we can do this. So again, for the sake of this video, given that mining and botany are already 54 plus, um, we're going to turn our attention again to fishing. So where we're going to teleport to? We're going to teleport to Tailfeather in the Dravanian Forelands. And I'm going to show you the areas I've been fishing. There isn't that much information at the moment about different fishing holes, so I'm going about discovering them myself. So we can see so far I've discovered these three, so this one, this one, and this one. So for the sake of it, I am fishing up here at the 100 throws, throws and I am still using the Stonefly Nymphs. And what you can do is, if you're running low on them, you can go to the traveling merchant who's right here you can purchase tools and you can just buy more so let's see let's refill our stack again so let's say 77 to get back to 99 cool so on the way let's uh, just talk a bit more about what I've been doing in terms of gathering so I haven't actually upgraded any of my gear yet because I haven't needed to only because I am in full forager gear but around level 53, if you've leveled up your crafting to 53 plus, is about the time when you can start upgrading your gear. And we probably will actually start looking at that for crafting, because at level 53, even though even on Mifri on her crafts, she's got what is almost max gear at level 50 with Artisan and 4 star and blah blah blah, it's just not relevant anymore. And um, like a level 53 high quality offhand has better stats on it than a fully melded um, offhand uh, of the artisan offhand for level 50 which we will cover in the next uh, crafting video I may, oh, actually no at the level 53 to 54 crafting video we'll cover that and as well remember that at level 53 you can also go and do the different class quests so anyway be careful around this area because there are bears and try not to stand at the this big middle platform because that's where some big bear spawns for I think for a quest so I like to just fish right here next to the waterfall and you st I would recommend you have around 400 uh, gathering when fishing around here so use food if you can so you can see I've got 399 Oop. the fish that oh, I was fishing here earlier so I guess they they protected this area in case to make sure that I'm not a bot or something so let, let me just move and that's it now the thing is fishing in this game is has always been one of the fastest classes to level so if you literally just fish while watching a movie or listening to music or whatever it goes by really really fast now, there are a couple of fish I am interested in, which are these grass carps. Which is there. I just got one. So let's again. But these only spawn at a certain time of the day. I think they only spawn in the morning. So I need to get two of them. But ideally, I'm, I'm going to try and get two high quality ones for this leaf quest, fish oils and forgotten spoils, which I accepted from Foundation. So if I get a second one, I'll, I'll go to, to Foundation and I'll show you how it looks. Okay, it's a high quality fish. So we got a high quality grass carp, which is just what we want. So another high quality and then we can go back to the to Foundation. Now, 
again, there isn't much information, so I had to find this fishing hole in order to find where these grass carp are. And it's just how it is. You just take a note of which fish spawn where, when, and so on. And almost like, it seems, I'm just getting a feeling. Like, I don't know yet, but it feels like certain fish only spawn at certain times, um, like with big fish, but I, I need to do more research. So let's try and capture a second grass carp, and then we're going to try and catch a collectible fish, because I've just noticed that that actually is one of the collectible fish that's useful for us. Okay, there you go. Two high quality grass carp caught around 8am at this uh, fishing hole right up here called the 100 Froze. So we have now caught every fish here. But the thing to note as well is that when you look at the list, the Rowena's House of Splendors at fishing, the Wallum catfish, which I did just capture, is a collectible item. So I'm now going to try and capture one of those, if I can. I haven't actually caught any collectible fish, so we'll just give it a go. So we're going to see here, collect a glove we've enabled for fishing. It's obviously different for fishing than it is for um, mining and botany. So let's see, collectible fish. You have learned collect, a special disciple of the land action that is used to gather an item uh, as a collectible. While fishing on the effect of collector glove, fish lander will grant be gathered as collectibles, their size directly affecting the collectability. Okay, so let's let's try and capture one. Let's see if we can get some of these collectible fish. So again, the one I want is the Wollom catfish. So, like I said, uh, mining and botany is well under c control at this point. It's Fisher that we want to have catch up. So we can mooch for a bigger catch? Yeah, why not? interesting music around here as well keeps things interesting i suppose it's nice sort of delving into these unknown waters in terms of um fishing and gathering and stuff because it feels almost like no one else has done this before so it gives it that extra sense of pride that we're working this stuff out with very little help okay so let's release that we don't need that so again we're trying to get this collectible Come on, collectible. I have no idea. I said I've never caught a collectible fish, but if we can capture a collectible fish here, it'll be fantastic. Because we already know it definitely drops here because we caught one before. Okay, what is this? It increases the chance of landing at HQ fish by 50%. I don't have anywhere near enough um, GP for that. Oh, that's because I'm wearing my gathering and thing. Maybe, I'll tell you what, let me equip my other gear. Because the reason I had this extra gathering and uh, perception uh, gear on is because I never needed GP as a fisher. That was for sure. And also because... Um, when I was level 50, I wasn't high enough um, gathering to capture the Nepto Dragon, which is actually a big fish that still eludes me until now, but I needed these extra accessories to bridge the gap. But I guess I kind of, well, in theory I actually still need them until I upgrade my gear, but uh, it's going to be less important in the expansion once we start upgrading our gear. So let's see, let's update our gear now. So let's see. Um, removes the influence of hooking status. That's fine. On some fish. Whatever. So let's let's do patience. So it says increases the chance of fishing an HQ fish by 50%. So let's use that now. Right. So let's let's see how it goes. It's like a self two minute buff to get HQ fish, but also the efficiency is reduced. So we're sort of sacrificing just normal capturing of fish to try and get more high qualities. Okay, fail. 
That's fine. Let's try again. And who knows if that's actually going to help us towards the collectible as well. Because like, the bigger the weight, the more valuable it is as a collectible. I always love fishing in this game. I wasn't always the best at it, but I always loved doing it. It just slows things down. It gives us a chance to think about whatever and take in the sights and admire everything. Okay, failed again. We'll keep doing this until either the buff runs out or we capture one. Simple as that. And if it's not status, has no effect on some fish. Okay. Right. I wonder what this is about, this removes inefficient hooking status. Or when we can use it. I, I need to do more research into this stuff. If there's any accomplished fishers here who already know all the new stuff, then please let me know in the comments below how it all works. Hello. There you go, another grass carp. We'll keep it, we'll keep it. Because I was fishing her earlier on when I got to level 53, but it was I was fishing in the afternoon. I didn't get any grass carp, so I'm I'm having a feeling like this only spawns in the in the morning. Yep. So the high quality thing does seem to work a lot. Okay. So let's mooch you. Let's mooch, mooch, mooch. That's so a very interesting thing they've put on fishing. That's for sure. It's still all chance based, sure, it's all RNG, but, you know, it, it is a choice you make. And I have to wait for the GP to recharge, so I can't just, like, use it over and over again or anything. But every time you capture a high quality fish, you see, I'm getting crazy experience. So, like, while we've been sitting here, like, nearly 200,000 experience, and we haven't been here that long, we've only been here a few minutes. So maybe, I don't know if I'll get a collectible, who knows. I can hope we do. But I won't spend too long trying on, on video, like I will just try and do it myself. Okay, another grass carp, yeah, I'll take it. Because every two of these is worth maybe 200k. If we can keep doing the leave over and over again. So, so far we have four. If no one else has worked out how to capture these, I might see what they're worth on the market board. Okay, let's get rid of that shrimp. We don't need it. So it isn't turning every fish into a collectible. You notice that. It's only... I think it will only turn the fish we want into a collectible and none of the rest. And in the meantime, we're just leveling up. And that's what we want. Okay, more mooching. And I am happy as well that we've already progressed the story to get to this zone, so I will be pursuing that a bit further as well. Seem to be getting a chain of high quality. I wonder if this like patience bugged it or something. It's like permanently an HQ effect without the reduction. That would be a funny thing. Ah, maybe not. I can dream. Okay, so I'll give this maybe a couple more pulls. If it doesn't happen, then I need to still do more research into collectible fishing. But I'm happy that at least we've done this leave quest. I mean, that's something. We know where the grass carps are. And I don't know if we're going to capture any more because it's coming up to the afternoon. But at least we know where they spawn. 
Oh, the fish gets away, so obviously that was a big one. I will have to upgrade my gear at some point because as difficult as it might be, it there eventually does come the time to just let go of like old gear and stuff like that. Of course, I, I am, this is not a Realm Reborn anymore. This is Heaven's Ward, so. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let me, I'll do one more cast. If I don't get it, or whether I get it or not, we'll head back to Foundation. always love this game but like, I'm loving it even more now <laughs> okay so it, it doesn't seem like it's going to happen it seems I have to come here in the mornings to have a good chance at it I mean that's the feeling I have I don't actually know for sure so anyway let me go back to foundation and you can just come here like I said sit watch a movie listen to music whatever and just fish and fish and fish until you're 54 I mean that's that's the whole point is just the leveling experience like, you only level up once. Once you're 60, you're 60. That's it. So, enjoy it while it lasts. And then you can work on the other classes in the game as well. So anyway, let's turn in this leaf quest. So, when you come to Foundation, the temple leaves are right here. So, that's the Aetherite Crystal. Just north, you have the temple leaf meat. Where I did accept this leaf called Fish Oils and Forgotten Spoils. So let's turn it in. Let's hand over the high quality cart. Hand over. Yes. So that's it. Make a nice meal. 100% for high quality turn in. So we're going to get almost 200k for that one leave. Which is great. We'll see if he has it available again. So I'm only doing the single leaves. I'm not doing um, the 10 version. I don't feel that they're worth it. Oh, okay, sorry, this is wrong. So, field craft. So, cloud fish. Doesn't give any experience, really. And this one, free lipped carp. So, I need to work out where free lipped carps are from. And then this one, not really worth it. And then this one, it's meh, barely, barely worth it. But anyway, so leave quests are another way. Um, to do it, but in the in the meantime when it comes to fishing Just keep fishing and you'll get there. You saw how quick with doing one leave and just doing about 10 minutes worth of fishing I achieved nearly a third of a level which is absolutely crazy So anyway guys, I'll leave it at that. That's it for this episode Thank you for watching and as always goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri <laughs>